Welcome to our bikini body camp workout today. We're going to be using a band. We won't need that until at the end of the warm up and a set of weights. We will be getting down on the floor, so if you have a hard surface, you can grab a mat for that. Grab your water and let's get started. Your feet should be parallel, sitting back into a squat. Alternate with a lunge, stepping back into a lunge, lining up your feet so that they're parallel, knee coming straight down. Squat, lunge on the other side. Alternating that lunge. If you find that your foot is turning out on the side here, I'd like for you to straighten it and bring it closer and wider so that the knee comes straight down. Next move, curtsy oblique crunch. Stepping back into a curtsy, like you're curtsying to the queen, then tap, crunch. Use your balance, <sighs> oblique crunch, targeting on the side of your core. <sighs> We're gonna do that on the other side. Find your balance in the other leg, stepping behind. You shouldn't be feeling this at all in the knee. You feel in the knee, push back into the glute. Curtsy, crutch. <sighs> Exhaling as you do that oblique crunch to really maximize that work. <sighs> One more. <sighs> Side lunge. Taking it to the side. Feel a good stretch in the side leg, pushing back into your glute. Rotate and reach from the quad, the calf, or the shoe. Tap, alternating to the other side. Reach. Reach. Your choice of where your stretch is. Feels good in the spine. Walking to the back of the mat or your space. Rolling down. Walk it out to a plank position on your knee or toe. Your choice, knees or toes. One push up. Walk it back. Roll it up. Let's do that again. Roll it down. Walk it out. Push up, two push ups this time. Walk it back. Roll it up, big shoulder roll. Let's get down on the floor for our next move. Glute bridge. Feet are parallel, hands are beside your body here. Pressing up, lifting and lowering. Right here. Lift and lower, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. You should feel like you're warmed up. I'm already breaking a sweat. Grab a sip of water. We're gonna put on our band. So there's two types of bands. Just make sure if you're using the rubber band that you've checked that there's no rips or tears in the band for safety. The fabric base band is a little bit more durable and stays put a little bit better. I'm going to put my band up on my upper thighs. If you don't have a band, that's okay. It's just adding to the work and allows you to get your results a little bit more quickly. So we have our band on and we're gonna grab our lighter set of weights for a lateral raise. The protocol for the work today is we have, it's called three and three. We have two strength moves paired with one hit move in a three minute period. So we're gonna do one minute of each strength move a 30 second hit and then a 30 second recovery 
before we move on to the next one. Lighter weights for the lateral raise, feet are parallel, tipping at the hip, coming into a deadlift, feeling that stretch in your hamstrings, lifting your arms to T height. I'll do it from this side to show you. We wanna engage our core, nice flat back like a seven, squeeze as we come up, arms to T height. So your gaze when you start a, a deadlift is in the front, and then when you finish, you're looking down to keep that nice neutral spine. Your range of motion, you should be going low enough that you feel that stretch in your hamstrings. How are we doing? Lift. Arms should only be going to T height, maximizing the work on the shoulder. If you're feeling any kind of shoulder pain, you can lift to the side like this. All right, next move. Racked squat overhead press. I'm gonna change to a heavier weight for this movement. Racking your weights right at your shoulder. You can either put them on top or I like to put mine in the meaty part of my shoulder. And we're gonna squat overhead press. Feet are parallel. Squat overhead press. Overhead press. We wanna get nice and low on that squat. Be mindful of your knees, that your knees are coming straight down in alignment. You got this. Come on. Looking good. Press. 15 seconds left. All right, transitioning to mountain climbers. Nice job. On the floor, in a plank position. Nice long spine, pressing through your palms. Drive those knees up. You can either tap or run it out. It's only 30 seconds. I want you to get your heart rate up. You should be breathless. At the end of the 30 seconds, rest. Get a sip of water. Nice job. Ew. Lunging, one, two, one, two. Let's switch sides. Stepping back with the other leg now. Again, making sure your feet are straight, your knees are coming straight down, in alignment with the toes, curling up and down. Get right in it. Up and down. Taking your time, elbows in on those bicep curls, knee coming straight down in that 90 degree bend. Keep it up, 20 seconds left. You got this. So we have a lot of strength training in today's workout, but we should be at our target heart rate the entire time if we're lifting heavy enough. Heavy weights means that we're building strength and stronger muscles burn calories. All right. Hit move, lunge back, tap, reach, lunge, reach. You can add a hop in there if you'd like, or tap, reach, come up to your toe. Switch your lead leg, lunge, reach, lunge, reach. Come on, you got it, rest. Whew. You should be breathless at the end of those hits. 
Next to move. Heavy weights, curtsy, lunge, row. Get a sip of water. We have a little bit of recovery time here. Find your balance on one side. <coughs> Stepping back into the curtsy. Feel it in your glute, pressing back, row. Leading with the elbows. Curtsy, down, you're rowing at the bottom, tap. Again, you shouldn't be feeling this at all in your knee. If you do shift your weight back to target the glute. That's what we're after, the glute and the outside of the leg here. Squeeze. Leading with the elbows, pause at the top. Get that good squeeze. Feel it in your back as you pull. We've got 15 seconds left. Can you get a little bit lower for me? Push through. Come on, nice job. Five, three, and one. Switch to the other side, same movement. Let's get right in it, cross behind. Pushing back into the glute. Lunge, pull. Tap. Squeeze, leading with the elbows. Feeling it in the glute, in the outside of the leg. Squeeze. Pause at the top. Are you feeling that in your glute? Say yes. Couple more. You got this. 10 seconds left. Push through. So we're gonna build on this move for our hit, setting down the weights and do speed skaters. Speed skater, cross behind, tap, tap. You can tap or jump. I like to jump over my mat. You can even move forward and back. Just make sure there's nothing in your way. Five seconds left, pick up the pace. Nice job, get some water. Good job. Whew. Again, you should be breathless. This recovery time is to catch your breath. Lightweight for the next exercise. Side lunge, sword pull. So we're gonna pretend we have a sword in the stone, pull it back and show that sword nice and tall. Lift, leading with the elbow, pulling it back and reach. I did in slow motion there so you could see. Again, on the side lunge, knee is behind the toe. We're really working on feeling in our glute and a good stretch in the side of the leg. So by the end of each of these minute segments, you should feel fatigued in that muscle group. If you feel like you could do a bunch more, you'll want to increase your weight next time. Last one, let's switch sides. Set yourself up. Side lunge, pushing back in that glute. Reach down, lead with the elbow, and show us that sword. Reach. Reach. 
Transferring your weight from one foot to the other. Great job. Nice. Try to make this a fluid motion. Leaning with that elbow. Reach. Fifteen seconds left. Push through. Reach. All right, set down that weight. Hit move. Lunge, pulse, lateral hop. Stepping back into a lunge. Your leg close to your mat is the one that's back. Pulse three, two, one. Hop to the side over your mat. Your option is to step. Step, tap. So you want to make sure when you do this, your knees are coming straight down. You don't have anything in the way, like the weights. One more. Nice job. Get some more water. Catch your breath. This is your recovery. We are halfway done already. Can you believe it? The sweat is dripping. I need a towel. Whew. All right, you're gonna love this move. We're gonna laterally walk in a squat. Tap side to side. Keep resistance on the band if you have a band. Get down a little bit lower. We wanna try to be in that seated position. Tap to really engage the glutes. Chest up nice and tall. If we stand up too high, we're not loading the legs enough. So start in that seated position and tap. Tap. You should be feeling this in the outside of the legs, yeah? And if you're not feeling it also in your quads here, get down a little bit lower for me. Keep breathing. 20 seconds left. Oh yeah, you got this. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Coming down onto the floor, glute brain bridge. We're gonna put a weight or two on our hips. Feet are parallel, lay back, weight on the hips. I'm holding them with my hands, pushing the glutes up, pressing the knees out, in, down, up, out, in, down. That's it, up, out, in, down. When you're up, you're creating that nice long spine from your tailbone up to your neck. Squeezing those butt cheeks at the top, feeling it where your glute connects to your hamstring. This is like an instant butt lifter right here. Whew. All right, come on up. Hip move. We're building on the move that we just did with the squat hops. Remember we did that lateral tap? Your option is to stay here or make it a tap. Hopping, landing softly, toe ball heel. Breathe through, chest up nice and tall. Oh my goodness, right? Glutes on fire. And rest. Nice job. Get some water. Towel off, recover for our next set. We do have balance in our last two sets. So if you have a chair handy, 
or something or balance. You may need it for it. Um, heavier weights. Heavy weights. Heavy weights help us tone better. Finding your balance in your first leg. Single leg deadlift. So you're gonna balance, engaging your core, tipping back as low as you feel comfortable and come on up. You can tap that foot down or continue to float it. So your back is flat the entire time. Hips are square. Slow and controlled. You might only be right here and that's okay. But we're working on balance, core, and that standing leg strength. All in one movement. Nice and controlled. Again, if you have a chair and you need that chair for balance, hold on to the chair with one hand and use the weight with the other hand. So we wanna to try to control going up as much as we're going down. Squeeze, other side, find your balance. So if you're using the chair, you would switch weight to the other hand, find your balance, tipping at the hip. You might find one side is more balanced than the other. That's normal, but we need to practice balance on both sides. Really maximizing the workload in that one standing leg. Taking your time. You might feel your ankle calculating and shifting around. I know I feel mine shifting. I need to make sure I engage my core to stay nice and tall and balanced. 10 seconds left. You got this. Set the weight down. We're going to the floor. Cross body mountain climbers. Stack your hands under your shoulders. Cross body meaning you're pulling your knee towards your opposite elbow. Either tapping or running. You're gonna feel the twist in your spine, your obliques. Breathe through it. Come on. Give me 10 more seconds. You got it. Five. And rest. Whew. Water, towel off. We've got one more set. If you work hard, you don't have to be working out for hours. You can get it done in 30 minutes. All right, grab those heavy weights again. Again, balanced posture, single leg squat. I'm gonna float this leg here. Engage your core. Down and up. One thing we wanna be mindful when we do this, watching this front knee. You see my knee shifting a little bit. It's gonna shift some. We wanna keep it in alignment with the toe. If you need to kickstand that back leg with the toe, you can. Try to keep most of your weight on the standing leg. Keeping your chest up, squeeze. Everything's working. Balance. Again, if you need to kickstand that leg, or holding onto a chair, you can do that. Maybe you need to do both, but build up to floating that leg. We're switching. Saved by the bell. All right, find that balance. Chest open and wide. Either use that leg as a kickstand or float that leg up. Single leg squat. Press. Press 
pressing through the foot. We've got 20 seconds left. Stick with me. So our finisher move today, our last hit is going to be burpees. We have an option if you're not getting down on the ground, squat, lunge, alternate combo. Otherwise, you're gonna step or jump it out. Again, standing options right here, alternating, squat, lunge. Otherwise, come on down, step it out. You have the option of doing a push-up on your knees or toes, step it in, you can jump, Come up to your toes, your choice. You can do a tuck jump. It's your option. Do what you feel to finish strong. Nice job. Way to bring the intensity. Whew. Get a sip of water. I am breathless. Whew. Hope you are too. <coughs> We're gonna leave the band on for the last, the first cool down exercise before we take it off. Coming down to the floor for our cool down. Roll it down, hands beside you. Press up into the glute bridge. Extend and lift one leg, flexing that foot, lift and lower. Squeezing the butt cheek, creating that nice long line through the spine. Let's switch leg, other side. Flex the foot. The flexing the foot is really important because that's engaging your hamstring. Concentrate on that glute. Feel the muscle working. Get that good extension, squeezing at the top. Bring it down. If you have a band on, take it off. We are done with the band torture today. I feel amazing, I don't know about you. All right, next movement. On our hands and knees in a tabletop position. Hands are stacked under the shoulders. Go on your toes and bring your knees slightly off the mat. Holding this, flex one foot, extend, tap. Keeping your back nice and flat. Option, you can be on your knees and alternate the flex foot kickback. Option one on your knees. Second option, on your toes. Flexing that foot. Pushing like you're pushing someone away. Nice long spine, looking out in front of your hands, not at your feet. Come on down. Come into a plank position on your knees or toes. Step one foot forward into the runner's lunge. Option again, you can be on your knee here. Rotate, reach up, stocking. Hand, shoulder, shoulder, hand. Sink into it, I want you to feel like good stretch in the inside of your leg here. Let's switch sides. On your knee or toe, your choice. Rotate and reach. Nice deep breaths. Great job. Step it together. Roll it up one vertebrae at a time. One shoulder roll. Inhale, big arms up. Exhale, fully exhale all the way down below your belly button. Let's inhale again. Exhale, bring your hands behind your ears. Chest opener, you should feel that stretch all the way across your chest. Now bring it up, bring your hands down to your heart. Forward fold. You can either hang your hands down and cross them or reach them towards the floor in a forward fold. 
Now I want you to bend your knees and straighten. Again, bend and straighten. Feeling that good stretch in the back of the leg. One more. Allow the head to drop. Now roll it up. One vertebrae at a time. Find your balance. Quad stretch. If you need to hold on to your chair, you can. Drive your knee in towards the other knee. Nice tall posture. Pulling that heel towards the butt cheek. Take a step back with that foot. Sink into the hip flexor. Again, watch that knee. We don't want it to cave in. We want it to come straight down in alignment with the toes. Feeling it in the front of this hip flexor, yeah? Now push that back foot down, calf stretch. Oh, that feels good, right? Your heart rate should be coming down. We're sending all that blood from your muscles back to your heart. Let's do the quad stretch on the other side. Bring your knee in towards the other knee. Breathe. Take that foot back. Check your alignment here. Sinking down into the stretch with the hip flexor. Being mindful of any pets that might get in the way. Safety first, we don't wanna trip on our animals while we're doing our workout, right? Push that back heel down, calf stretch. Ah, oh, doesn't that feel nice? Bicep stretch, arm across the body, shoulder away from the ear. Feeling the stretch across your bicep here. Take that arm up and over, tricep stretch. Feeling it in the arm here. Give the elbow just a little bit of tension to expand that stretch. Overhead side stretch. Reach up and over. Feel that good stretch from your pinky all the way down to your hip bone. Let's do that on the other side. Bicep stretch. Arm up and over. I hope you feel as amazing as I do. Don't forget to tag me in your sweaty selfie at Kella Price at Healthy Fitness Life Coach, or at our program tag at Bikini Body Camp. We have Facebook and Instagram pages that you can follow. I hope you had a great workout. I appreciate you. Thanks for joining me today.